Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are inside the new Dacia Joker Hybrid 140 and today we will test the consumption. I will reset the consumption that I did on my last trip and we will drive the car and we will see what will be the consumption. I will activate the eco mode from here. I will try my best to drive economical, but I will still leave the climatic system on on the first step. So keep in mind that. If you want to see the full uh, review and the test drive with this car, I have it on my channel already. We will drive in B mode. B mode means that when you release the acceleration, the car will regenerate more energy back into the battery. And I try to drive as efficient as possible. So let's drive it, guys. First of all, I want to tell you, for those of you that don't know, this is the first Dacia car that use a hybrid a full hybrid system and it's the same hybrid system that Renault Clio Renault use it on the new Clio and also use it on many other cars from Renault before it has a lithium battery 1.2 kilowatt hour it's a cool uh, liquid cool battery and it has 8 years warranty or 180 uh, thousand kilometers that mean they rely on it they claim that this uh, battery will last for minimum eight years i mean they really think this system is reliable and they already test it on other cars so it's not something new that it's for the first time bring on dacia it's already tested before on uh, other renault cars and this is really interesting i drive it today a few times and I was super impressed with the suspensions. I was impressed with uh, the transition between electric and petrol mode. Um, I was impressed how, how good and how smooth and kind of um, easy to drive is this new Dacia Joker hybrid. It's it's great system. I, I really like the system. And I'm curious to see what consumption we will get out of the car. It's a little bit noisy when the petrol engine kick in and also it's noisy when you drive on the highway at high speed you can hear a little bit noise from outside the car but other than that not too many complaints also the regenerative brake guys in B mode when you drive in B mode you accelerate right now and when I release the acceleration right now let me show you I release it now and the car is just braking you know like from the electric motor it's regenerate back the energy in the battery it's not that powerful you see i have to still use the brake i wish it was a little bit more powerful this regenerative brake and yeah actually let me go right here i want to simulate you know like driving in the city and then maybe we'll go outside on the highway a little bit roundabout yeah you have to turn a little bit more the steering wheel I mean it's not super assisted so you can you have to turn it a little bit more in order to give you the turn that you want right now it's regenerate back the battery so until now we drive just like we are driving in the city
good visibility in the mirrors. Actually, we will go a little bit more forward and then I will turn around around here. I will turn around the car and we will go back and probably a little bit also on the highway going in reverse the car come also with a reverse camera that it's relatively good I mean um, also a lot of sensors the car come with four sensors on the rear and four on the front actually there are six sensors but two of them they are used for the blind spot technology so you have parking sensors on the front and also on the rear and the car come also with some great technologies you know like safety features emergency brake it comes with um, blind spot technology in the mirrors and right now it's in electric it's stopped the, the petrol engine it stops but if, if you will see right now in a second when i accelerate and when i press the acceleration right now the car it's starting and it's driving only in electric mode .2 liter consumption until now and we are driving only like a city driving and the climatic system it's on on low maximum low and it's very cold it's come a lot of cold from the from the vents So you can hear when the engine is kicking in and when it stops you hear it you know I think the insulation between engine and the cabin should be a little bit better next they can also improve that without any problem very easy they don't have to change too many things but I think if you hear music if you turn on the music you barely notice it and you don't feel nothing i mean you don't feel any vibration in the pedal or in the steering wheel or inside the cabin when they make this transition so it's like until now we are like driving only in the city up to 50 km per hour and we have 3.2 liters consumption what do you expect better than that I mean it's incredible they claim the consumption it's 5.1 liter we have a 15 liter tank so I guess the, the, the if I'm not wrong the VLTP they um, claim that the VLTP range of the car it's around 900 kilometers and ooh, that would be interesting to see if it's true it's super sunny today it's not so fun to drive uh, and film in the same time with this Sun in, in your eyes right now you see the regenerative brake it's it's kind of slow I wish the regenerative brake to be more powerful you know that would be something that I would definitely improve on it um, other than that not bad great visibility on the window says other um, other Dacia cars, Sandero has also good visibility like that. We have 3.2 liter consumption until now. And of course, we will go on the highway right now and we will see in the end what will be the consumption. Right now, it's start in electric mode. Three point three liter consumption. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm excited. Now we go on the highway. We will drive up to one hundred km per hour, and we will get back in the same place where we start, and we will see what will be the consumption. I'm crazy excited. Now, here on the small curves, it's fine. But when you make bigger curves, like roundabout, 
the steering need to be turned a little bit more it's not so super assisted the consumption is a little bit higher now 3.8 liters so what this tell me now we go uphill guys keep in mind what this tell me that tell me that when you go at speed higher than 50 km per hour the consumption start to grow and I think if you drive up to 80 km per hour you can get around 4 liter 4.3 liter consumption if you drive faster now we go uphill and faster actually let me go left here I want to drive like the speed limit you know like you have blind spot technology in the corners there and I have enough power to go uphill I can hear the engine it's revving we have 5.1 liter and we go uphill still uphill still climatic system it's on oh boy exciting I'm, I'm re now it make me really curious to see what will be the consumption without the climatic system on I, I wish I can turn it off but now it's too late I start the, the test like that I will keep it until the end but I will make probably another video where I will close it and we will see what will be the consumption now we are 100 you hear a little bit of wind noise and a little bit of noise from outside but nothing nothing crazy we go downhill and I wish right now because the car in front is braking I wish right now to be able that regenerative brake to be a little bit more powerful you know like right now I want to anticipate 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 come 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 regenerate regenerate more energy back in the battery back in the battery because the battery is not full I can see how much energy I have in the battery there in the left corner up and I wish right now to see it grow 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 because we regenerate we go downhill make it full come on make it full and then use it later right now we're just kind of rolling with the B mode but it's not rolling it's kind of regenerative brake and right now we are almost flat and we have 4.6 liter consumption 4.5 and we drive in the speed limit okay not bad I don't want to exceed the speed limit I want to stay in the speed limit I want to go on the right side let me stay here because we have to turn around then 4.3 liters so yeah as I expected I think if you drive up to 80 100 km per hour you can get a consumption around 4.3 4.5 liters if you drive over 100 kilometers then the consumption is just probably between 5.5 and probably 8 I'm not sure I don't know if this car can reach 8 I'm, I'm curious but I will, I will do in the future probably a few more tests with it now here slow down and we are in B mode and the car is just regenerate 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 and we go uphill a little bit and right now it's regenerate even more and it used this if I break it's regenerate even more energy look at there but at some point it's kind of locked in place 
So that's why I wish somehow the regenerative brake to be a little bit more powerful. The great thing with those hybrid system is that when you stay on the traffic like right now, you don't need to use the petrol engine. So you save energy. So that's why full hybrid and electric cars, full electric cars, I think are the future and the way to go if you want to buy a car, a new car right now. Think about that, full hybrid or full electric. If you're not ready for electric, go full hybrid. Because right now, look, it's, it's just silent. The only thing that the car doesn't have, it's an auto hold. So if you press the brake and you release it, the car will roll forward like an automatic. I think an auto hold will be also nice to have here. In the future, 4.2 liters with a climatic system on. I think if the climatic system was off, I will definitely have around 4 liters, maybe 3.9 around there. If you anticipate the traffic and you drive in speed limit, I think you will be just fine with the consumption. So finally, I want to see those cars on the street. I want to see also a Dacia Duster or Dacia Sandero with this system. I think the full hybrid is the way to go if you're not ready to go full electric. Right now we go downhill and regenerative brake is not that powerful. And also when I press the accelerate, ah, when I press the brake, I can see it's regenerate even more. So yeah, I guess it's no needed. The B mode here is not so needed. If you press the brake, it will actually recuperate even more energy first time before it used the brakes. I'm not 100% sure about that, but yeah, I think so. I think it's working like that. Yes, when you press the brake, it's also regenerate back the energy, even though if you don't have, if you don't drive in B mode. And I don't feel the transition. Usually, you feel a transition when it transi when you when it, the car do the transition between um, recuperate energy and the brakes the mechanical brakes then you feel usually in most of the cars a transition but here mm, I don't feel that transition that's why I was a little bit doubting when I brake so that means it's a positive thing this is a really positive you see already when I go a little bit in the city already my consumption was was lower to 4.1 liter you can see and now we go on the highway probably will go again higher but ooh, surprisingly good, surprisingly good. I drive hybrid systems and I drive also Toyota hybrid system. That's probably the best and super reliable for so many years. And it's super smooth. This one, it's not so smooth as Toyota full hybrid have, but I guess the consumption, it's a little bit better as then there I don't know why surprisingly there I get the same consumption but without the climatic system I'm 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 a little bit surprised to see that it's kind of more economical I'm not sure anyway you can you can tell that so easy you have to make a lot of tests um, in order to say that for sure but from my tests is that what I feel and what I see it's like this one it's a little bit more noisy because of the petrol engine but the other one it's silent but a little bit it's not so efficient like this one now we go uphill ah come on man you see it is just he wait until I go here in order to accelerate and now you go in my face I cannot change the lane anymore because it's straight line yeah very smart very very smart 4.2 liter and we go uphill 4.3 if I get 4.5 maximum until the the top of the hill the peak of the hill then we want to go downhill I think I can get under four liter consumption in the end mm. 
I, I don't have too much patience for this car in front so I will definitely pass by we go uphill accelerate climatic system on 4.6 4 liter so uh, we are not on the peak and I'm over my objective I'm over my my objective now we go downhill ah, 4.7 liter I overtake what I had in, in mind but anyway let's continue 14 degrees are outside guys by the way if you're under it's a spring a nice spring weather and now we go downhill I release the acceleration and now the car is just rolling in B mode actually it was in D mode I changed it before now it's in B mode right now it's in B mode and right now I can feel how the car is regenerate okay nice let's see accelerate release and you can also go between the, the D mode and B mode by pressing the button here on the stall right now we are in drive mode press down now we are in B mode so now the car will regenerate more energy yes it's pretty powerful I was it's pretty nice now I was wrong a little bit earlier when I drive on the other side when I said that the 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 B mode is not so not so strong because I was in D mode I was thinking I'm in B mode but I was in D mode and that's why I was just miss by the way over the bumps is doing great but now in B, B mode it's just fine now I mean it's it's okay maybe I'm used to be a little bit more powerful but I guess it's fine 4.3 liters anyway let's drive we have just a little bit of trip ahead of us but yeah let's let's go in drive mode I think in drive mode we can roll a little bit more and win more energy and when you break anyway the car will recuperate the energy so normally when you are in B mode in regenerative brake the car will lose a little bit of energy from the heating process and the friction process of the recuperation of the energy uh, so for example now we are in B mode you see the B mode is, is is not that powerful so you can stop maybe I'm used with more powerful system I'm not sure 4.1 liter guys that was the consumption that was our test and this is what I get I think now if I drive a little bit in the city that the consumption will go even lower and the climatic system it's on it's impressive it's impressive that was our trip and I have to park the car back if I go in reverse now let's go in reverse and yeah, I think I have to park it from the other side because from this side I don't have place because of that car but it's nice also the reverse camera the sensors the ca the the mirrors are fine still climatic system it's running 4.1 liters still 4.1 liters I think usually here the consumption should go a little bit higher because of the climatic system where is the place I have to be I have to be there just like that okay all right where is it yeah it's good I have to go like that let's go a little bit longer it's it's a kind of a long car I usually don't drive such a long cars and the camera is not super precise so I have to look in the mirrors in the mirrors I can 
I can make a better idea. Also camera is fine, but yeah, I guess mirrors are much more precise and safe. The camera is good when it's something really behind there and you cannot see it, but the side mirrors are usually just, just fine. And now the great part is that when you put it in park, the electronic handbrake, it's activate automatically. So that was our trip. 4.1 liter guys you see you drive with me amazing look at it climatic system on low first level great i stop it right now great job really great job better than they claim you know they claim like 5.1 liter you can see up there oh boy great job dacia great job renault great job guys engineers or everybody who work on this car they did a great job they managed to to bring to the market an affordable hybrid car for everybody for a family with seven people for a company and for whoever want to buy this car anyway if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out gallicar garage i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car see the car test drive the car definitely worth to check them out really interesting system that i want to see it also in the future on uh, other Dacia cars so my rating 9.9 .9, very good car very good consumption I think if I stop the climatic system and if I drive to anticipate more the traffic and I try my best to drive uh, economical I think I can get the consumption under four liter without any problem so yeah that was my test i will do in the future another test i'm super excited to do without climatic system anyway that was the video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching also if you want to support our channel you can join as a member that will be really appreciate anyway thank you guys to all of you that are watching the videos thank you for like share subscribe stay safe and i see you soon in the next one by the way don't forget to see the full review with the same car see you in the next one bye guys Thank you.